Thank you. 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 Thank you
Um, that's about it. Progress. Thank you. Public safety, Ms. Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. Patty, it was a wonderful, wonderful parade. Uh, I had so many people come over to me at the um, big event at VFW afterwards and said how much fun it was and how great it was. So it was really wonderful. Thank you for your efforts. And John, hey, great. It was You're great. It was a good time. Thank you. It was wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'll give you the police report first. We had 124 summonses issued for traffic moving. We had 14 motor vehicle crashes this month. We had 158 arrests made for the month and no Narcan deployments. There were three drug arrests and arrests year to date are 982. <coughs> very proactive. Our bike patrol was out there all day yesterday at July 4th. Um, it was wonderful to see them very active and of course they've been active down at Green Acres and on the bike path and you'll see them whenever you go to a public event. Um, fire department. There were no Narcan deployments by the EMS this month. The total amount of fees collected by the EMS this month was $27,496.72. And our total fire and EMS fees collected to the year to date, $188,070.43. We are really right on target with last year with our income and EMS basically pays for itself by uh, collecting on the fees for the ambulance and permits. Okay, um, we're progressing with the um, apparatus manufacturers on the purchase of the new squad. Uh, our squad is um, quite old. Uh, it is still active. It goes out almost every day, but by 2020, we want to have a new one online. So specifications have been um, gotten from different manufacturers and Chief Dolce is working out a schedule for visits and gathering drawings for the committee to review. This month, all the volunteers and the career staff trained with our police department on active shooter high-risk events. This training took place on two evenings and proved to be valuable for both departments. All the members have completed their CPR recertifications and we continue to monitor the AFG grant application. Um, that is something that we were able to get two years ago and we have the application, it's very active. It looks like it might come through, and um, we're hopeful that it will within the next few months. And we are continuing to work for the uh, new <coughs> firefighter. We hope to hire a new firefighter. And uh, he has completed his physical, and he will be undergoing a performance test, and we're waiting for the results. And uh, we'll move on hiring with him if everything is fine. And that's my report. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alan. Uh, public events, Ms. Passio? <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, what can I say? The, the um, before the July parade was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <Understandable>. <laughs> <laughs> but I've gotten so many, like Eleanor said, I got so many compliments. I had so many phone calls today thanking me, saying that it was one of the best parades that they ever saw. And we really worked hard. I want to thank my committee, uh, John and Eleanor, because uh, without you two, it's physically and mentally challenging. And it definitely is a labor of love. I want to thank, uh, there's so many people I can thank, but I just want to thank everyone that had any, any part of this from the beginning to the end, our police. Thank you for carrying my one. The police, uh, uh, the public works, uh, uh, 
e everyone, uh, even Dan out there that, that puts it on the blog. I thank you, Dan, for that. Um, put it on YouTube. Uh, uh, what else did I want to say? You uh, want to I want to thank the Rotary Baby Club. Parade? I want to thank the Rotary Club for the. Uh, they are judging. They judged in the bike parade. The Women's uh, Club for the uh, Baby Parade. We had a really good turnout. And um, did you want to give out the winners? Oh, yeah, we can I want to thank Toyota, especially. Eleanor, you will write that letter to Toyota. Oh, yes. We judged our antique cars, and we presented them with a, a, a best of show, second place and third place. We had our floats, first, second, and third. We got a $100 uh, gift card, uh, $50 gift card, and a uh, $25. First place went to the O'Neill family, second place went to the Runby Girl Scouts, and the third place went to Community Bible in Barrington. And uh, Rita's Water Ice uh, received a, a, a ribbon. Uh, Baby Parade, most patriotic was Lillian Conley. Uh, she it was 10 months old. Most comical was J Jonas Snee, 14 months. Best impersonation was Delana Conti, 4 years old. Uh, and Tabitha Tartaglia, 22 months. Fancy dress was Lori Lai Parkins, 2 years. Most original was Danielle Morales, 2 years. Youngest was Keel, Keel Pagan, two months. Best decorated foot was Sophia and Julian uh, Sipley, so three and four years old. Um, and they received uh, beach buckets, so they all love that. And the, the little infant, she received a cute little doll that made some kind of noise. Do you mind if I just say something? <coughs> Absolutely. <I'm coughs> Excuse me, the baby parade and the bicycle parade. It's a big turnout, it's surprising. Uh, you know, parents with small children just love to, uh, you know, get involved and decorate the, the wagons and the floats and all that. But it's amazing. I started counting heads. There was a hundred people at least. And you really did uh, enjoy just, just with all that bicycle. Yeah, yeah. Cups. It's, it's a lunch. good time. It's, like <laughs> it's a big day. So we had free water ice, and I and I really want to thank the VFW because their hospitality for our for the town is is phenomenal. Um, the mayor and, and Council uh, gives them, uh, provides them with the hot dogs and the refreshments so that um, everyone who wants to go back to the DFW can sit back and relax and enjoy. And that's exactly what I did. I sat back and talked to some good friends and, and had a really good time. So thank you. Yes, uh, anything uh, else? I believe, if it has, if not already there, that the, um, Mr. Lobenstein is going to uh, put some pictures on our uh, mm -hmm. Facebook, right? And you'll see uh, everything that happened, but it was, I took quite a bit of pictures and nobody else soon. And just one other thing, we have a concert coming up on Wednesday, July uh, 19th. It will be a blues and jazz band, so please come out at 7 o'clock. If it's too hot, we'll go inside and enjoy ourselves. So come on out and, um, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy what Grundy has to offer. We have a lot. So thank you. And I, that's the end of my report. Thank, thank you. you. Great, great job. It was a great job. Uh, engineering, Mr. Brown. Oh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, not a lot to report. Uh, we have a lot of projects that are on hold, uh, waiting for uh, proposals. Elm Avenue, Broadway, Washington Avenue, uh, South Oakland. So we're just waiting on a lot of that to come in. And then uh, I'm just going to go with my uh, caucus report and defer uh, to Mark. Okay, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Mr. Lobbins. Uh, Mr. Root is not here, so we're just going to skip Public Works. Uh, not a lot to report on right now. Uh, all the sports are pretty much done for the year, uh, for the summer season. Uh, we just got to maintain the fields. I'm going to refer to Mr. Bayshore on the grant that we're looking for for the uh, new playground at the VFW. And the rest is progress. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Law has arrived, so Mr. Law, uh, the administrator's report, do you have anything at this point? The funding for the bond ordinance will be available as soon as the 20 days are up, so we'll be able to, uh, at the next meeting, I believe, be able to put on some uh, resolutions to award some of those contracts. Um, with that, we'll be uh, next meeting also author asking you to authorize a bond anticipation note issuance. Um, so please look for that. Um, the auditors are nearing finish, uh, should be done uh, later this month, and everything looks good there. 
Um, and Joyce informed me today and emailed the, the tax uh, certification which came through, so yes. the tax bills will be going out soon and we'll be getting our, our revenues in. I don't know if there's anything you wanted to comment on that, Joyce? Uh, that the uh, increase will be $48 on every $100,000 of assessed value. So the average amount is approximately $150,000. You're taking my thunder. I was going oh, to you wouldn't do it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's anyway, it's an increase of approximately $72. $72 for the average house. For the average and our portion is about the $18, $19 is our increase this year on the municipal portion because we're 26%. The rest of is county. The 26% the is the municipality. I think 24% is the uh, county and around 50% is the, is the schools. One thing that changed this year for everyone is the regional went down this year because of the way the funding formula is. Uh, so that's why we had a better a better year total thank you that's all i have thank you. okay thank you so let's report excuse me uh we're waiting on uh, getting the signed contract out with our office staff representatives gw it has nine go with the bottom i got it so we're waiting uh the contract the finalized contract has been distributed to gw and we're just waiting for the signed contract back contract is just the the extension of the memorandum of understanding which everyone had previously signed so i'm hopeful that we'll get it back shortly there's a resolution to addressing that tonight which will be modified a little bit from what you see um and uh i've worked on uh, uh kind of doing the final draft of the shared services proposal with Baron. and other than that progress okay thank you engineers report thank you mr mayor uh Councilman Farrell alluded to, we've got a lot going on. Uh, I did go over a lot of things in the caucus meeting. I like to rely mostly on that, but a lot has happened since last Tuesday, so I'll try to bring you up to date with where we stand on some of those issues. Uh, last week I talked about uh, change orders for the South Oakland Avenue emergency repair. That is on your agenda tonight, <coughs> resolution 17 105, and that was a $5,400 increase for some sewer lateral repair work. The other change order I talked about was for the Borough Hall project here. Uh, I mentioned 11,000 was for the moving or putting in the hardware for the relocation of the, the Verizon communications. There was another $603 in there for some strobe lights that the fire marshal was making us put in. So the total change was $11,603. And that's resolution 17106. The parking lot pump list work was done last Friday. There's still a little bit of asphalt work we have to do. And I haven't got a schedule from Lambert. Right now we have a barrel out there. Uh, there was a sinkhole we were, were replacing. There. there was a bad <coughs> joint in the uh, reinforced concrete pipe that was installed, so they took care of that. Uh, contracts, bonds, and insurance for the Open Avenue and Washington Avenue project were sent out last week, so I think Joyce said you signed the contracts, so I just need uh, something from the solicitor in the, as far as the bonds and insurance are going I'm concerned. And this, okay. Uh, so once that's all taken care of, I can get a pre construction meeting. I'm trying to get that for next Thursday or Friday. I have to give NJDOT a seven day window to work with so that they can uh, be here for that since it's funded by them. So I'm looking at the pre comp for either next Thursday or Friday to try to make that happen. Uh, and then construction, we would give a notice to receive for the following Monday, which I believe is the 17th, and construction would start shortly thereafter. Um, our planning department has made uh, progress on the master plan and redevelopment study. I believe Steve Bach is going to be at the July 12th planning board meeting to talk about both of those projects. Our architects have made significant progress with the phase two for the elevator project here. So I'm going to get together with the, the engineering committee and go over a 90% plan. So I got to just coordinate that meeting with Councilman Farrell and his committee. And then we can make any minor adjustments and then get ready to go out and bid on that project. And I did talk about our open space committee meeting at, at uh, the caucus. We met with the representative, and I haven't heard anything to date about the $25,000 funding, so I'm not sure what you want me to report on. That's it. That's it. Your oh, okay. Um, yeah, we had the Open Space Committee meeting. We met, met out there. I think it was they were very receptive to what 
we were proposing to do. It's just a matter of finding out if we make the final cut. It is, is this what we're doing for the playground? It has to be repaired? Yes. That's important. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we, it, was, it was a good meeting with the committee, but we'll let you know what we hear from them. If for some reason we don't get the funding, we do have a backup plan. I think I said we had about $17,000 that we could maybe move around, at least get it uh, partially done. And the most drastic equipment that was a safety hazard has been removed by Polish Works. Right. So yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to, my little mayor's report is not on here, but at least the finance, we did get our, our uh, tax uh, rates, so now we can send out the bills. But uh, since I have uh, Sergeant Sampolsky here, I just wanted to make sure something that uh, we have been discussing as a, as a council, myself, and the police department. Um, hopefully, in the next couple of months, what we will be doing is introducing an ordinance that changes the structure of the police department, where it creates a, um, a chief, a captain, four sergeants, uh, and 11 patrolmen. Is that right? No, 10 patrolmen. So what that does is that allows for another person for the administration. It allows another officer as a power shift type of person who can be, um, the chief can use to uh, supplement whatever needs to be done. Uh, and then also what that does is by increasing the amount of officers we have, we can then hire another class two officer who can also work up to another 20 hours a week um, and, and help patrol the town. So hopefully the time frame for all this is we've been, we've been talking about is, is uh, next month, the following month, and then hopefully have these appointments in either September or October is, is the hope. So did you want to add anything, Sergeant? Uh, That's progress. Progress? progress. Okay. Thank you. Okay, all business, and we have none. Uh, public comment on agenda items. Um, I'm going to, should I read our statement? Or? Yes. Okay, I'm going to read the statement. Yes. Our attorney has advised us that we cannot prevent you from making comments about our employees. He has also requested we advise you that our employees are not public officials and you are not immune from civil actions they may bring as a result of your remarks. Uh, is there, this, so this portion of the meeting is open to the public. Anyone wishing to speak on the upcoming resolutions, please come to the microphone, state your name and address. Seeing no one, is there a motion to close the public portion? I so move. I'll second that motion. Motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, the public portion is closed. Okay, new business. We have resolution 17-102. It's a resolution authorizing the borough of Runnymede to enter into an agreement with the state of New Jersey Division of Motor Vehicles uh, from July 1st, 2017, not to exceed one year. This is the standard contract to uh, provide for police security at the DMV. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Ranieri, second by Ms. Passio. Roll call, please. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Lovins? Yes. Mr. Bauer? Yes. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Ranieri? Yes. The resolution is adopted. Uh, resolution 17 103 is a resolution authorizing funds transferred from zoning account to building account. Uh, this was a $65 that was deposited in the wrong account, so we just have to do a resolution to move that money to the right account. Is there a motion? I'll second. Motion by Mr. Mr. Farrell, second by Mr. Lobenstein. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mrs. Passier. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. And Mr. Lear. Yes. Five eyes, Okay, that resolution is adopted. Resolution 17 104 is a resolution. Am I going to say approving? Well, so here's, here, this, this, this is what it's going to read. It's about, I'm sorry. This is the way it'll read. It's a slight change from what? because we don't have the signed contract back. So my suggestion is that this resolution be a resolution appointing, approving the entering of a contract with the office staff slash GWU after they have executed the contract. Okay. That's the way I would like. That's the way I would like to have it captioned. And in the body of the resolution 104, obviously we, the title change would, would be, re reflect the same thing that I just indicated. The second whereas, where it says office staff ratified the contract, they, added, they, they ratified the MOU, they ratified the memorandum of understanding on that date. And then in the second one, we also uh, approved the MOU, okay? And so um, this is gonna be an authorization uh, to sign the contract and we're gonna add when mayor and council have received the executed contract, 
from the office staff, then there'll be uh, then, then the authorization signed. So if it should happen that we receive it between meetings, then mayor and the council, couple council people are authorized to sign, so we don't have to wait till the next meeting to get it signed. That's that's the effect of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah our intent is not to wait another month. <clears throat> right. Right. Uh, I think it was just a timing issue on the uh, unit. So okay, resolution 17-04 is a resolution of approving the entering of a contract after its authorization from the office staff of the GWU. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to enter into the contract. I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Ranieri, second by Ms. Kelly. Roll call, please. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Mrs. Basio? Yes. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Lovenstein? Yes. Mr. Ranieri? Yes. All right, this resolution is adopted. Resolution 17-105 is a resolution approving a change order for Perna Finnegan, Inc. for emergency repair sanitary sewer on South Oakland Avenue as discussed by the engineer. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Farrell, second by Mr. Lobenstein. Roll call, please. Mrs. Basio? Yes. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Mr. Lobenstein? Yes. Mr. Ranieri? Yes. Resolution is adopted. Resolution 17-106 is a resolution approving a change order for W.J. Gross for Barrel Hall safety improvements and space planning. As outlined by the engineer. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Frow, second by Mr. Lawenstein. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Lawenstein? Yes. Mr. Basio? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yes. And Mr. Ranieri? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, resolution 17 107. Well, that's It's not on there. I don't have it. That's the one, remember? I, you told me to put it on, and I. Steve was supposed to get us a resolution authorizing the planning board to begin the redevelopment study. Is that something we can just do by title only? Resolution? Sure. Is that okay? okay. Yeah, because the uh, planning board has to begin the study, correct? And the council has to authorize Right, you have to authorize the planning board to begin the study. The planning board begins the study, has a hearing, reports back to you, you make the final decision. But the, the authorization to just start the study is, is enough to start the study. Mayors are not to exceed amount on that. Contract. It was already in the budget. Uh, it was a line item. I think we we did have that. If you remember, I do, I do. I just want to make sure that that's what the that was the number that came. To We're not going to pay them any more than that. Right. Than that number. Okay. So resolution seventeen one hundred seven is a resolution that was authorizing planning board to begin redevelopment study. I'll make uh, a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll second that motion. Do we need a roll call, please? Uh, Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lawrence. Yes. Okay, motion by Mr. Ranieri, second by Ms. Ms. Kelly. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right, the resolution is adopted. We're missing a resolution for the uh, shared service agreement for do we feel comfortable in authorizing the shared service with Barrington for the... He said he was still working on it. No, I, I, I've revised it. Um, um, can we approve it as per the revision? I, we can approve it as per the revision. I, that, what I did was just kind of make it more... I mean, that's it, do it. To make it a little clearer from our perspective, kind of detail a little bit more about the services that we're going to provide. Uh, I put a great deal more detail in uh, the reimbursement to us, making it very clear that the, the, the basic uh, premise is that uh, we will be reimbursed quarterly uh, from Barrington. These individuals all have a salary that they've already, Barrington and they have agreed to. We'll get that information by subsequent just letter. Uh, so the pay us quarterly with the first payment being October 1st, July, August, September, October 1st. But in addition to the salary that we're getting reimbursed, all of our related costs, and that's what, that's what I, I specified in the, in the agreement. What we pay for social security, what we pay for unemployment, what we pay for disability, what we pay for Medicare, uh, if, what we pay to have a direct deposit of a check, Whatever it might be, we're at, we're at net zero. It's got no cost to run me. So that was the big change that I made to paragraph four, which is the payment paragraph. The rest of it's pretty, you know, general uh, shared services stuff. So I think that you could consider authorizing the execution of the shared service agreement as modified once we get it back from Barrington, if you want. Okay, so the resolution would be 17-108 would be the execution as as modified of the shared service agreement um, with the borough of Barrington uh, after they have ratified it, is that after they have ratified um, Any other discussion on this? Is everyone pretty clear? Can we make a motion on it? Yes. 
I'll make a motion. Motion by Mr. Ranieri. I'll second that motion. Second by Ms. Passio. Uh, let's do a roll call on this one. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Yes. Mr. Powell? Yes. Mr. Yes. <clears throat> Five eyes. The resolution is adopted. Glenn, let yes. me ask you a question about that, the yes. shared service. Um, everything's covered. Net zero gets our, all our costs back, except for administration, right? Just processing. Correct. We're, we're, the, but we get that with the shared service. Yeah, the realistically, side yes. Back, right. Right. It, it kind of washes out. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so at this point, we have a, a motion needed for the payment of the monthly bills. Is there a motion? I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Lovenstein, second by Ms. Passio. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lovenstein. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. Mr. Powell. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. Mr. Powell. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. All right, the bill shall be paid. Uh, good and welfare. This portion of the meeting is open to the public. Anyone wishing to state their name, uh, uh, come to the microphone, please state your name and address. Construction, construction, uh, inspection services. Awesome. It just, we just said shared service with Barry Nothing. Good point. Oh, wow. Marie Pantrell, 230 Evergreen Road. It's a shared service between our inspectors and the borough of Barrington. Gotcha. All right, as long as I know, it's in here. Um, with the police department, the captain, the restructure, is it the captain coming from within the department? Yes. Or we hire, okay. And then where does it, so 10, new, 10 officers, captain, Four sergeants, please. Chief? Yes. Yes? Yeah. How many officers do we have now, if that's one point? Well, we will end up with, uh, we'll end up with the possibility of up to 20 officers, if you count the class twos. If you count the class twos. There's 16 in the new outline. I don't know. Right now, we're at the 18 to 19. With the class twos. With the class twos. All right, for all the people who sit behind their computers online, I just, I just want to say that one more time, because they're the ones that say, we need to hire officers. So, hey, well, we are listening. We're officer. hiring officers. Is that good? The police department has uh, come up with a plan. Amen. I, and I like that you guys are working together. Um, so, recently, also uh, online yesterday, it was brought to my attention when my son was being accused of something that I, I read the comments after this went on. And it said, the police won't do anything. The police won't do anything. The police won't do anything. Because this, and I don't speak publicly, because this involved my son, but it didn't. It was just a. It could be Maria Song, of course, everybody knows Maria. It, the police won't do anything to any of these kids. This was going on, and I had my son like, in front of me, and I did a little research on my own end. I just wanted you to know, when I called the police officer back on the 4th of July, which is a holiday, he was actually at a local, local police department working with a local police department trying to put someone put on blast online that this kid may live in this town. I just thought it was funny because as I'm reading, the police don't do anything, the police don't do anything. I tried to call this officer back with regard to my son, and he was actually at another, think of that, uh, 15 minutes before his shift ended, working very diligently to put a stop to, you know, what's going on. As I'm reading, people in this town say the police don't do their job. Bigger thing, for all the people that complain online, everybody pat yourselves on the back because not one person comes out and speaks publicly about all the rumors, the nonsense and the drama that's going on right now. So I, I, I literally thought this room would be full tonight just with all the drama, rumors, and everything else. And as you can see, obviously, no one wants to come out from behind their computer and actually, you know, one-on-one -on -one speak. Everybody hides, and I think that's a shame. So I commend you all for, Thank you. for being here. And for I commend everybody who sits home and, you know, has nothing to say. I, I don't commend that. Yes. I don't. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you're you. The, you're the, what's that thing called? Committee? What's, what are you? You do wonderful. Everybody public knows. events. Public, public events. events. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing no one else, is there a motion to close the public portion? Motion. motion by Mr. Lobenstein. I'll second that motion. Second by Ms. Passio. All in favor? Aye. Public portion is closed. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Motion by Ms. Passio, second by Mr. Lovenstein. All in favor? Any opposed? We are adjourned. I just wanted to mention about the firehouse having their festival every Sunday from 10 to 2. I was there this past Sunday. They had lots of vendors. It was wonderful. So 
just, just, just want to, yeah, just, I just want everybody to know about that wonderful farmers market and festival every Sunday, ten to two at the fire.